Ladies and gentlemen, UNESCO Ambassador Mariana Vardinoyani. It is my special honor to join the Concordia Annual Summit, and I would like to thank the co-founders Matthew Swift and Nicholas Logothetis for their kind invitation. Which are the components of our global culture? It is humanism, peace, democracy, freedom, human rights, solidarity. It is diversity, dialogue, and tolerance. It is development and prosperity, science and innovation, respect on our planet. It is composed by the values and the ideas that keep us together as humanity and as nations by letters and arts and both our history and our heritage. The pandemic was a crash test against the reflexes of our culture. It brought humanity face to face with great inequalities. It threatened our world, but it never erased hope from our hearts. 2021 is a crucial year for humanity. Civil society is expecting brave decisions by the world leaders during the 76th General Assembly of the United Nations. According to Gordon Brown's open letter to the G7, which I had the honor of co-signing, no one is safe until everyone is safe. I firmly believe that this is the message we are getting from the pandemic. In fact, it reminds me of the words of the ancient Greek rhetorician Isocrates, that luck is common. In his latest report, Our Common Agenda, the UN Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Guterres, stresses that humanity faces a stark and urgent choice, breakdown or breakthrough, and that now is the time to re-embrace global solidarity. The COVID-19 pandemic can be the opportunity for our generation to face pathogens bridge gaps, get closer to global goals. I was particularly pleased to read one of the Mr. Guterres' main recommendations regarding the need for the meaningful, diverse, and effective youth engagement, as well as the empowerment of education skills, training, lifelong learning and better political representation. On the other hand, initiatives like UNESCO's Open Science, which is being so fondly supported by the Director General, Ms. Sondri Azoulay, aiming at achieving shared knowledge and bridging the gaps of science and innovation between countries can make a real difference. Such proposals strengthen my belief that we can all together transform the day after into the dawn of a new era for our planet, leaving no one behind. Ladies and gentlemen, I am confident that global culture will be our collective force and inspiration. And in this challenging term of our history, we must never forget the words of Nelson Mandela that our society needs to reestablish a culture of caring. I wish the best of success to the Concordia Annual Summit. Thank you very much.